All right, so this is Drop the Plumber. I'm Julius Bogner. Today I'm going to show you how to solder uh, and make repairs on copper pipe. I have two pipes here. One has a hole in it. I'm going to show you how to fix that pipe. Uh, the things that you're going to need for this repair are a uh, nap gas tank or propane, a uh, torch head, you need flux, roll of solder, you're going to need sandpaper, a rag to wipe the joint. Uh, you're going to need uh, one of these tubing cutters. Tubing cutters are great because they actually say on the tubing cutter the size of pipe that they're going cut to up, cut up to. This one here cuts from quarter to an uh, inch and an eighth. Um, so that's going to eliminate these cutters here. We don't need, we don't need this for that job. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my tubing cutter. And where this mark, where this cut is, I'm going to cut right on both sides and, and, and cut this out. So just line your tubing cutter up. You take and give it a couple of spins. Tighten down on the cutter. You let the cutting wheel do all the work. If you take and crank this wheel, this cutter down, this wheel cutter down, uh, it'll oval the pipe out. And you won't be able to get your fitting on. So uh, just take your time. You're not rushing. Um, just go ahead and keep going around until you feel it break loose. Okay, so the pipe separated there. So we're gonna look inside the pipe. We're just gonna check the integrity of what, of what we cut. Make sure that if the pipe was eaten out um, or if it had hard water, we look to see if um, there's still integrity there. So this, this half there looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out next to this hole. Same thing, just take your time. You're not rushing with it. Again, just letting the cutting wheel do all the work. Doesn't matter if you go forwards or backwards, it's still doing the same thing. separated. So <clears throat> next we're going to go ahead and clean both these ends of the pipe. Now we do that so when we add solder, the solder gets a good bite on that pipe uh, and if we didn't clean it the solder wouldn't make a good connection with the pipe. So we always make sure we clean them real well. We're going to take our fitting. I'm going to go ahead and scrape the inside and clean that up. You can use a fitting brush or just roll up the tape and clean it up and both ways you're going to do it just fine. So clean that up real good. So I like to do the face of these fittings. It causes the uh, solder to flow and make a real good thick seal on the ends. So we're gonna go ahead and add our soldering paste. 
with our acid brush. We don't have to go crazy with this flux. We just have to put a little bit on there. Um, it's going to take and um, fill in all the cracks and help us uh, get the, the uh, solder to flow. We'll stick our coupling on. Okay. Make sure that it's seated all the way. So next we'll put our torch together. You can use propane, uh, you can use nap, nap's gonna be hotter. Uh, this is what I've used um, for the last 15, 16 years, so I just stay with the nap gas. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to heat the fitting up first. What we're trying to do is we're causing capillary attraction. We're going to take and the capillary attraction is going to pull the solder into the center of the fitting and cause this entire fitting to fill up with solder. Now if we just did the outside, uh, you, wouldn't, you, you wouldn't get the longevity of the joint. Um, you could, it could end up cracking if there's vibration or something moving or banging into the pipe. Um, but to get the full connection out of this, you need to um, solder the whole fitting out and then pull the solder in. So we're going to go ahead and do it. So I put the, I put the heat on the bottom of the, of the fitting, right in the center of the coupling. I let it heat up a little bit. I pull it away. You see that little bit of smoke? That tells me we're just about ready. We're going to wait for the smoke. And you can take the heat off, you want, let it flow. That's it. You just pull, just pull the, uh, the excess off the bottom. You can see it's still got good smoke. Pull the torch away. And that's it, let it cool, let the, the, the solder harden. You can blow on it, go ahead. Go ahead and wipe that. Just take a quick look around. Make sure that you have no pinholes. The solder filled in nice. That's gonna be there for a long time. You're gonna get a long time out of that joint. So if you do it just that way, you're not gonna have a leak. Um, prepping, remember sand your fittings, put the flux on, make sure everything stays clean. Also don't touch the fitting or the pipe um, prior to making the joint. Um, it just, uh, when, you do, when you do these procedures with it, it just makes the solder flow so much easier. So uh, I hope that uh, this helps you and uh, continue to watch our videos. Thank you.